Hi, fifth graders. Today we are going to talk about rhyme scheme. Yesterday we worked with couplets, which were just two lines of poetry that rhymed with each other. Today we can identify the rhyme scheme in a poem. Let's get started. So what is rhyme scheme? A rhyme scheme is the ordered pattern of rhymes at the end, ends of the lines of a poem or verse. So yesterday with couplets, we were just looking at two lines. Today, we're looking at a whole poem or a verse of a poem. Here's an example. Upon a nice midspring day, let's take a look at nature's way. Breathe the scent of nice fresh air. Feel the breeze within your hair. With rhyme scheme, we're looking at the ends of the lines of the poem to see what words rhyme. Day and way rhyme with each other, so I labeled those both A. Air and hair rhyme with each other, so I labeled them B. Let's look at another poem. Rhyme scheme equals the pattern of rhyming words. We label rhyme scheme in the lines of verse or poetry with letters. Lines that, lines that rhyme have the same letter. True friends are by your side. Through it all, true friends are there to catch you when you fall. So our first line, we label A. And next line is through it all. All does not rhyme with side, so we have to give that one a new letter. Through it all is line B. True friends are there. Well, that doesn't rhyme with side all or side or all, so we have to give that another letter, C. To catch you when you fall. Fall and all rhyme, so they get the same letter, B. Let's read it again. True friends are by your side through it all. True friends are there to catch you when you fall. So our rhyme scheme, the way it's labeled, is A, B, C, B. We're looking at those end words of each line. Let's practice. The frog. I saw a little frog. He was cuter than can be. He was sitting on a log, and I'm sure he croaked at me. So we need to label our lines. The first line is always going to be A. So I'm going to drag an A from the side over here. I saw a little frog. A. He was cuter than can be. B does not rhyme with frog, so I need to have a new letter. And we go in alphabetical order, so we bring over B. He was sitting on a log. Log and frog rhyme. So that line is also labeled A. And I'm sure he looked at me. Me and B rhyme. So they're both labeled B. We would call this rhyme scheme A, B, A, B. Every other line rhymes. I saw a little frog. He was cuter than can be. He was sitting on a log, and I'm sure he croaked at me. Now it's your turn to do some independent practice. Practice identifying rhyme scheme on IXL for 20 minutes or until you have a SMART score of 70. Once you've done that, come back to this slideshow and go to the next slide to do your exit ticket. Your exit ticket is looking at the beginning of the poem, The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. I'll read the poem out loud for you to help with hearing as well as seeing rhyming words. I've labeled your first three lines. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. So you're going to finish labeling the rhyme scheme. Think about what does the last word of lines four, five, and six rhyme with from earlier in the poem? Do they rhyme with weary, lore, or tapping? Highlight the last word of lines four, five, and six so that the color matches the rhyme from earlier in the poem. Now, here's how you do that. You click into the text box and you select the word. Then you would go up here to this little guy, highlight color, 
and then you would select your color. All right, if you have questions, let me know. Have a great day.